Do you think there's a trend in um, toward artists marg marginalization mm -hmm. within producing organizations? And if you do, then what do you think are some of the obstacles that face our field? I think the answer has to be yes. Mm -hmm. I think there's a marginalization. I think it is happening in certain ways. I feel like there's a divide that's growing, and more and more there is the institution, maybe led by an artistic director, mm -hmm. but is also led by a board, and is also led in some ways by a building, mm -hmm. and the need to fill the building, and mm -hmm. the need to pay the rent on the building, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And in that scenario, I do feel like the artist is sometimes marginalized. For me, it's more about longevity. It's not mm. about how do I get money for this season. It's mm. how do I maintain, it's how do I create an environment where people can afford to stay mm. for 40 years. I think uh, the biggest danger for theater companies is that they, be, they, they, they stay artist-driven theaters, where the art is what's driving the theater rather than marketing is driving the theater. Mm -hmm that there's the divide between those places that are more and more going towards these bricks and mortar situations and more and more companies that are arising at a small level mm -hmm. that are creating work themselves and being an ensemble and maybe they last for five years, maybe they last for 20, maybe they last for one, mm -hmm. maybe they last for one project. <laughs> there's more and more of that mm -hmm. bubbling up as the institutions are not necessarily supporting the artist's creativity in the same way. I feel really passionately that the era of art for art's sake is over. Is institution really the goal that right. we should have as artists and right. institution building? Right. There's a certain point where uh, you become an institution and, and, and you have to be careful that your focus and your raison d'etre is not just to keep that institution alive um, for the sake of Know, employing the staff and keeping everybody working, right. but it's it's to fulfill your artistic mission. Mm -hmm. If we're community partners with the people around us, then that's my one great wish for us mm -hmm. as a field, mm -hmm. is that we'll understand the way that we connect to people as opposed to thinking about ourselves as, you know, lofty. Great. I think that's a great place to end. Thanks. Congratulations on your growth. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Really. Amazing. Thanks, guys. Right now, how do you define company membership? Company is a council of people who look to one another to keep the company in check, to um, make sure that we're all working at the top of our creative and intellectual intelligence. I think first and foremost, it means uh, an elevated collaboration. It takes a kind of a um, um, intelligence to evolve and to question and to grow and to um, make provocative theater. Historically, it's always meant that we aspired to transparency and honesty mm -hmm. with each other. It's always felt like family, I think. It's mm -hmm. always, it's always, I think that's always been part of what we've wanted to create and have created. Hopefully that's always the case, that we don't outgrow that sort of down home, I like you, let's have a beer and make a play essence that I think is what made us all want to be together anyway. It's a sense of, of ownership and, and comfort and, and yet also simultaneous with that comfort, the idea that I can push you in a way that nobody else can push you. Right. I mean, you know, and that's what family is, really. I mean, they know each other better than anybody. To be able to say that, you know, I have created a body of work with these folks, um, it means a lot to me. What do you miss about the old days? Uh, that I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't mind painting the floor until two o'clock in the morning. There was a fearlessness or recklessness about the early years. As artistic director, you didn't need to have a company. In some ways, I feel like the more we work as a company, um, the more fun it gets. So I think that um, it was kind of in my DNA. People working together repeatedly well produce better art. What happened when organizations stopped having artists at the center? I'm an artist. I consider myself an artist. And actually, this year, for the first year, 
in a long time. I felt like an artist again, hmm. and not and not an administrator mm -hmm. or a producer. And, and I wish the same for you as a director, or mm -hmm. for company members as actors or designers to feel vital and present in an organization. I don't know why we're doing what we do if we can't if we can't figure out how to make that happen. So we have a company. We've always had a company because somehow we've collectively intuited that artists should be at the center of the organization. And even though we've kind of been successful to varying degrees of keeping the artists at the center, that's why I think we still have a company. And this is what I hope we're able to kind of improve the model.